here. Let's see. All right. Welcome back to stockmarketfunding.com. We're going to go into the, uh, uh, the other area. This is called the walk around Wall Street, but here's the problem. This is called the key KBW financial services. It's the banking area. You're not seeing any broad-based buying here, are you? Let's go to the NASDAQ banking area. Okay, this is all the banks in the NASDAQ. And let's take a look through here. Okay, so that means that, excuse me, let me pause the tape. Hey, orderly business. One thing I would like to tell people is that the Dow transports is what's given that 75-point move in the Dow. You need to know where the gimmick is. You need to know where the buying. I can tell you, you got a little bit of buying in some of that uh, NASDAQ banking area. That's this area. Let's go to the S&P banks. Uh-uh. Don't have enough green, so they're not buying into that. Security broker dealers like Goldman Sachs is in here, and you got some buying in there. Okay, but more importantly is, let's take a look at the fertilizer area. We got a little bit of buying there. So food processing stocks. Here's all the food processing stocks. We got a mixed view there, but more Net, net, we got a little bit more nibbling with positive gains. Here, what about your restaurant stocks that are all overbought? Um, basically, you got people that will chase these stocks into overbought levels. Restaurant stocks got some buying. Uh, we'll be looking at shorting that in the in going forward. Now, let's take a look at the HMO sector. Here is the HMO sector. You got Aetna, you got... Humana, but look at all green. So they're buying there, you know, probably because of the health care bill. Here, let's take a look at our casino sector. Boy, must have a lot of people where I live here in Las Vegas. And, the, oh boy, so everyone's out there spending their money there, but they're buying, okay? Now, let's take a look at the beaten down Dow Jones REITs. REITs, well, people are trying to buy some REITs. You're just a way to know where the broader market is. Here, Morgan Stanley REITs. Let's take a look at the Morgan Stanley REIT. Well, they got rid of that sector. Housing sector. Oh, boy, the housing sector must be on fire. I see buying there. Is it really, though? No. Here, what about forced paper and products? They're buying there. What about Morgan Stanley cyclicals? Oh, boy, they're really crowding in there. So you know how the fund managers like to operate. That's your cyclicals and that index, and they're buying in there. How about the consumer? Consumer-related stocks. Imagine that, people. Guess what? They're buying first day of the month. Does it mean that they're right? No, because a lot of these things are extremely overbought. But you're able to walk around wall and broad. Hey, let's go to the semiconductor area. That's a place of real interest. This is what's helping the NASDAQ comp and the NASDAQ 100. You got all buying in that. Let's take a look at the semiconductor index chain. Over. There are different ones. Um, take a look at the broad-based buying. This is what leads market higher. That's part of the technology. Let's look at the capital equipment, semiconductors, capital equipment, all green. So that's what's fueling the market higher. Here, what about semiconductor devices, all green? See, that's the kind of stuff you want to see. Here, CBO Internet sector. Well, let's check out the technology sector. CBO, technology, so that's where they're at. Here's another technology index that are weighted with different things in technology, all green. So they're right back to doing that, buying at first of the month. Computer technology, all buying. What about the disk drive components, all buying. What about the Dow Jones Internet Index, all buying. What about the GSTI composite, pretty good buying, first day of the month. Hedge fund, hedge fund managers, not so much them, but guess what? The mutual fund managers and the bigger players are nibbling because they've had their head kicked in the last 60 days, so now they're cost averaging down, headed into March, because supposedly March has the greatest spring rally ever. Take a look at the buying, okay? So, you know, the thing about it is, as we start looking around, here's a Morgan Stanley Internet stocks. People like eBay, Amazon, Baidu, got NetEase in here. You got a Yahoo, Priceline, good index to follow. Look at the broad base. They're buying, okay? That's... Look at, oh my goodness, the Morgan Stanley Technology Index. 
You got stuff in here like Yahoo as well, and you know you got Google in here. Uh, you got Amazon in here. You got some semis that are included in that there. Uh, technology, the PSC and the PCX. Okay, this is another index, and they're all buying there. But let me tell you what, transportations, airlines is good to look at. Buying in the airlines, that's another form of transportation. There's the Dow transports, they're up. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ transports. Well, kind of a mixed bag in the NASDAQ transports, but you got more green than not. So that's called the SMF Pro Trader Walk Around Wall Street. Now we can start picking out the ones that are doing the best, where that money flow is starting to go. And to see if that new money coming in in the beginning of the month is going to continue.